everyone. This is going to be a little video on doing things with hemiplegia. If you are new here, my name is Portia and welcome to my channel. I'm also nicknamed Tia everywhere. Please consider subscribing and giving my videos a thumbs up if you would consider doing so. It will help the algorithm to know if you guys like them and also it will let me know to keep going with this channel. Doing things with hemiplegia is not really the easiest thing to do and it's also not the easiest to talk about and discuss. Today we're going to be discussing how to put on an Apple Watch with one hand. And a lot of you might be thinking, this is so not possible, but it is. You're just going to be a little bit limited on which bands you're going to be able to use, unfortunately. So the band I'm going to be working with, as this is the band that you'll be getting when you first get your Apple Watch, is the Apple Watch Sports Band. Please note, I do not have the Apple Watch Sports Loop as I'm not really sure if that one is going to be possible to use with one hand. However, if I do manage to get that band, I will try to see if it is possible. So first, you're going to need to put the band on your Apple Watch. This is definitely not something I'm gonna be covering in this video as I already have my band on my watch, but I will be covering how to put the watch on your wrist. Please be aware I am left-handed and only have use of my left hand, so I will be putting it on my right wrist. If you're going to be putting this on your left wrist, the instructions will be a little bit different and you may need to experiment to see what works for you. First, you're going to want to decide which way you're going to orient the watch. In my case, I have the watch's crown facing towards the top but if you want it towards the bottom and facing leftward, that's fine as well. I have the end of the band that is just the holes facing my hand. And I have the end with the little clasp area facing my belly or my chest, if that's how you want to do it. Okay, so let's orient the watch on our wrists. I'm just going to put it on my right wrist. Being sure to orient it carefully, I'm going to put my right arm on my lap and then I'm going to take both ends. The end with the clasp is now sitting basically with my fingers touching it, my middle and ring fingers, and my thumb and pointer fingers are holding the end with the holes. I'm going to take the whole end and put it inside the little snap or the little clasp and there we go we've now adjusted it onto my watch and then we're going to put the loose end inside the loop where you you which you'll use to make sure it's in place i'm going to turn it around and now it's on my wrist adjusting the watch band Okay, so you might be thinking, well, Tia, this is loose. This is a really loose band. And I agree with you, it is extremely loose. Right now, we only have it in the, I want to say the second hole, which is extremely loose and definitely not what I like as far as the snugness of my watch. I like it to be a little more tighter and a little more snug. So you're going to need to undo the watch band again. I know this is annoying. Take the, I want to say the tip and the back of your thumb and put it inside the loop that holds the clasp and just undo it. And then you're going to need to unfortunately pull a little bit to figure out how to put it in the holes. And now I have it in the fifth hole. My arm is not the smallest, but it's not the hugest. I have a medium sized wrist, but I will admit I may have kind of plump arms, so I do need to put it in a more bigger hole in order to feel that it's snug. If the fifth hole is a little bit too tight, you can always just pull it until it goes into the fourth hole. My, basically my fingers were holding the end with the holes and that's how I was adjusting it. So again, you'll take your thumb, put it inside the loop that has the clasp, your fingers will take the other end of the band, the end with the holes, 
and just make sure you're holding the clasp end with your thumb and pull the hole into place onto the band. And that is how I get my Apple Watch on my right arm. Now you might be asking, well, won't that damage the Apple Watch band, you yanking on it like that and pulling the band into place? I have not had the bands be injured by this. Although if you're using a more fancier band, you may wish to not do this and ask somebody just to help you do it. But I have had no problems with Apple's sports bands and me having to do this. It does work and it is a very foolproof solution. So you guys, I hope that helped you guys. And if you have any questions on getting this working, please let me know in the comment section down below or also email me at sunlightbirdie at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to answer questions for you guys and get you guys going, getting your Apple Watches on your wrists. Take care and enjoy your Apple Watches. Bye now. Hey everyone, this is going to be a little video on doing things with hemiplegia. If you are new here, my name is Portia and welcome to my channel. I'm also nicknamed Tia everywhere. Please consider subscribing and giving my videos a thumbs up if you would consider doing so. It will help the algorithm to know if you guys like them and also it will let me know. To so you guys, I hope that helped you guys. And if you have any questions on getting this working, please let me know in the comment section down below or also email me at sunlightbirdie at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to answer questions for you guys and get you guys going, getting your Apple Watches on your wrists. Take care and enjoy your Apple Watches. Bye now.